My name is Christina Sell. I'm really happy to see you all here. Welcome. Kim innocently asked me, what are we doing here tonight? I got this. Evi didn't say very much. The guest list was secret. I don't know who was going to be here. Did anyone else feel like that? Yeah. A little bit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, you're here um, really because you manifested being here. And it's really that simple. The folks at Lululemon had a focus group where a lot of the yoga teachers in this room and throughout town came to participate in a focus group and said, um, when asked what would help them a lot in serving their students and in feeling happier and feeling more in alignment with themselves and their work, the overwhelming answer was, um, you know, I would really love it if our community of teachers was closer, if I felt supported and a part of um, a group of colleagues who were really interested in helping each other grow professionally <coughs> and that we had ways to combat some of the competition and some of the infighting and some of the suspicion that can live and grow in dark corners of the yoga teacher community. Uh, and so this night began to take form in, um, in your requests and what you expressed as your own longing to be part of a, what I call a collegial community of teachers. And to be a group of colleagues, not competitors. Because really, when you um, ask probably just about any one of us in the room, what got you into teaching yoga, it goes kind of like this. I found this practice, you know, and I came home. I didn't know I could feel like this. I want everybody to feel something like this at least once a day. Or, oh my God, you know, I didn't know my body could be joyful to be in. I didn't know there was a way to experience that, but I found it, it was called yoga. And I couldn't just shut my mouth about it, I wanted to tell everybody about it. And very rarely does someone say, you know, I'm really interested in teaching yoga because, well, I want to drag myself all over town at odd hours of the day, rush hour traffic. I actually don't like eating dinner with my family very much, so I think 5.30 would be a great time to work every night. <laughs> And sort of oversleeping in, so sure, yeah, I'll just get up at the crack of dawn, teach those sunrise classes. And um, I particularly like to do that without health insurance. <laughs> I really like to do it that if I had a bad day, someone would post it on Yelp about how um, that turned out for my class. <laughs> when I make a mistake, I'd really like my mistakes to be made public. <laughs> I'd like for an entire studio full of people to talk about the bad choice I made <laughs> and how it reflects upon my worth as a yoga teacher. Awesome. No one says that. He said, I came home. I felt my light. I knew for one breath, one pose after the next pose, I could do something I never dreamed possible and I wanted to share it. And so you're here because um, that bonds you together with each other. And you asked for a way to um, grow deeper into that bond. And then Lou Lemon asked me if I would um, lead the class tonight, and I jumped at the chance because my favorite people to talk to and be with are yoga teachers for that very reason. Because I find that, hey, you know, we answered a high calling. I say that because I'm a yoga teacher, I like to think it's a high calling, and I do think that it is. I really believe that it's a time of darkness. I mean, read the newspaper. If you haven't sworn it off already, if you have sworn it off, pick it back up and remember why you stopped reading it. Um, and I believe that yoga studios and yoga teachers are places um, where sanctuary is offered to people where in a time of darkness, people can rediscover their light, maybe for the first time in their life. Maybe for the first time in their life, know what it is to feel joy in their body, safety in the company of others, supportive in going inward, rather than shamed for having deep longings of the heart. And I believe we get a chance to share in that. And I also know that it's hard. The hours are tough. The pay's not always good. Criticism is 
many times a lot fiercer than you ever could imagine when in that private moment of your heart you just wanted to share the light with others. So this we um, came up with the name Ignite Your Light because um, we really feel like as a group of people, um, each person who's teaching yoga out there is, is holding a bright light and um, we need places to plug, plug back in to be together.